Cue dramatic music. Vlog, right? Sky, bro, just come up the stairs, but oh my god, hold on. Why don't you just come up the stairs? Why don't you just come up the stairs? Come here. That's all. That's all you have to do. As I was saying, this will be a weekend vlog. Here's the mission for today. You go through my inbox, find something to wear that fits me, go to my uncle's surprise party, have a really fun vlog segment for you, and then we gotta fly back to LA. All that, and hopefully, oh, going up the stairs really winded me, and I can't speak English. So, I know a lot of you have been tweeting me and commenting me like, Lily, you're in Toronto. You're in Toronto, right? Aren't you in Toronto? You're in Toronto, right? You going to the doctors? So this is what happened. Let me tell you what happened. I called Nandini. She called her rheumatologist friend, which is a doctor specialist I need to go to. And there's a two-month wait. The only one that was available was a two-hour drive from where I live. She also made the valid point of being like, why do you want to go to the doctor so badly in Toronto? Because if they need to follow up and have you come in again, what are you going to do? So, I'm finding a rheumatologist in LA, but I'm taking active steps towards figuring out what's wrong with my body. So... Basically a health guru. My inbox right now is not cute because I haven't checked it in like two days and this is live footage of my inbox. And we need to deal with it right now. Come sit on my lap. My mom thinks she doesn't look good. Come here, come here. You look beautiful. You're not wearing your minion sweater. My well, mom has the funniest story ever. So yesterday for my birthday, thanks by the way, they got all of my favorite things and one of my favorite desserts is creme brulee. I love creme brulee. It was at my party and I was like, oh my god, how fancy mom. Tell the story. Okay, so I bought the frozen creme brulee and then when I was trying to read it, okay, how it's gonna work, like how you defrost and all these things. So it says after defrosting, so you sprinkle like, a small packs of sugar, right? You sprinkle those packs and then with the torch <laughs> make the sugar a little bit brown like just few seconds with the torch i thought that so torch... in india <laughs> the, what a torch means is is a flashlight that's what they call it in india so, my... so i i asked someone uh, okay i figure that they're saying with the torch with like a google <laughs> that's how you have to do it right so it says with the torch you do it you can do with a lighter and you can i said no okay so we can do with the torch so i asked someone I said, I have only small flashlight, right? How that will work? Because <laughs> it's, it's gonna have a heat out of it. So I'm upstairs and I'm like trying my best not to ruin any surprises. So I'm like in my room, cause we're, but I hear my cousin entering and be like, hey, I brought the flashlight. And I'm like, what the hell is happening at this party? So they brought the flashlight and they were teasing my mom, being like, yeah, yeah, you can use the flashlight to do it. No, then they told me, no, it's not that. It's a, it actually flame come out. I said, oh. Okay. They were convincing my mom a flame comes out of the flashlight. No, so they no said it's a torch, but the flame come out. I said, oh, I don't know. I thought the torch is just a light to see in the dark. It's not, I thought it's a flashlight. <laughs> Long story short, they teased my mom. They used a lighter, they made the creme brulees, but my mom thought she was gonna make the creme brulees with the flashlight. I know. This is the moral of the story. <laughs> You're so cute, mommy. <laughs> You're so cute. Hey, it worked, okay? You're right. Yeah. You but I could be holding a flashlight point. for I don't know how long. <laughs> Ugh, I have like really bad allergies today. I don't know, like, Scarborough, am I randomly allergic to you today on this one day? I'm trying to see what to wear to my uncle's surprise party, which is today. I didn't want to buy an outfit. Here's the thing with Indian people. Any event you have, you should buy a new suit because you can't wear the same Indian outfit twice. It's like, not a thing. And I'm just like, that's not economically sound. Here's the thing though, all these outfits are really old and I'm like fatter. So we're gonna see if any of them fit me. I'm debating between this one and this one, both funky, both in the same family, have these funky patterns. I personally like this one better. Well, my mom, of course, been like, but you wore it before everybody saw. I'm like, I don't care, okay? All right, I don't care. So it's gonna be one of these two, whichever one fits me better. Hey mom, did you wanna make more creme brulee? <laughs> So, since I'm getting so dressed up anyways, I figured a really fun vlog segment today would be trying on my sister's wedding outfit. This outfit she wore when she actually did the wedding ceremony. She was kind enough to let me borrow it. It is right here. And she gave me all of her jewelry too. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then you're gonna see what I would look like if I was about to get married. Let's do it. Also, mom, you better bask in this because this is the closest you gonna get. Trying to make this like a James Charles tutorial. Oh, we're gonna take this Optimus Prime QX4 Y equals MX plus B brush and we're gonna use our Sunset Raspberry Golden Plum Shadow. Uh, 
brown kids living at home don't gotta pay no rent fee so they can save up their money, buy expensive things like Fenty. When my face is all beat, I'ma check the messages my ex sent me. You said you missed me. I said, don't be so bent, me. Y'all wanna know the real tea though? Every time I'm talking about my ex, I'm actually not talking about anyone in particular. I'm just talking about all exes in general. But every time you guys are reading this, like, I bet you she's talking about this person. That's exactly what you're I bet you she's talking about this. You're actually wrong. I'm talking about nobody. Nobody! That moment you realize you didn't pack no eyeliner, no eyeshadow brush, so you don't look for a real simple wedding day look. First, we gotta change. Okay, so there's still a lot more to do because everyone knows, well, everyone, well, all Indian people know that jewelry, especially on your wedding day, what makes it. My mom's gonna help explain what all the jewelry is, but first, pin this mom so I have a little bit of shape using a hairpin because we don't want to put holes in the suit. You got yeah, I think so. A little so. better, right? Yeah, it's good. Put my hair in a braid like my sister did, but I believe my sister had a barandi when she got married, which is like a decorative thing you braid into your hair. I don't have one here, but I'm trying to mimic as best as I can. Here's the jewelry. So we don't actually remember what jewelry Tina wore, so we're gonna check real quickly. No, mom, the one I'm wearing right now is evening. JK, it actually turns out all the jewelry I put on was wrong, so. Starting over! Take two. That hurts. <laughs> Some of these outfits can weigh like 40 to 50 pounds. This one's not that bad, but this Wait. shawl part, which is the journey, that's where it gets really heavy. Is it heavy, mom? Okay, the answer is yes. <laughs> There's a whole profession for someone to come and set this shawl on you. Like you hire someone to do it. <laughs> okay, this is the last piece. It's called Galide. Interesting. Interesting. This is probably supposed to go on first. Cue dramatic music! <laughs> it looks pretty awesome, but it's also so so uncomfortable. Like, how do people comfortably sit there for so long? Getting married like this is so heavy and there's so much stuff happening here. I mean, but I'm kind of into it. This is the closest you're gonna get to me getting married. Enjoy this moment. Why do you mean closest? We already I want saw the real one. thing. No, no, we already saw from Suhan. I've been a bride many times yeah. actually for modeling yeah. stuff, but yeah. yeah. How do you think I look? Really? Fantastic. Okay. Thank Yay. you. Show the jewelry, man. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Lily, you're naturally so pretty, you know, you should nice. do a big nice. wedding so I can do butchia, man. Get out of here. Okay, so my conclusion is, it feels fabulous, but it's all very uncomfortable. Like, I'm getting caught in things. This hurts like a mother effort. Oh, yeah. We're gonna change and actually get ready for the event today. Okay, Scarborough is with Uncle Humby, because Uncle Humby is babysitting, and we are ready to go. The vibes. This is what my hairstyle used to be in high school, by the way. My hair in a clip, so it looks short. Every day of my high school career. It hurts like hell. Popping two Advils. We're going inside to give my uncle's prize party. Let's do it. I'd also like to point out my mom got us here so early that they're setting up the sound system still. It's not mom. It's dad. <laughs> because I was worried. Don't wanna, also, look you how pretty mommy oh. looks. Look at her. She can bust a pose. Always. Oh. Always this pose. <laughs> fire, fire, more fire. Decoration prep is happening right here. The surprise happened. The champagne pop. Bottle service is popping. Kidding. Back in the day, we used to pop mad bottles, but now everyone has so many kids, so this is the type of bottle service we have. <laughs> Awesome to see all the family, partied up with them, but admittedly, towards the end, like all I could think about was Natasha. I was just like, today Arjun posted about how they were married, which of course his friends know, but I know they never publicly talked about it. I'm just like, frig, to get married in February. Losing people's heart regardless, but that's like such a tragic thing to have just gotten married and then she passes away. Like that's, I can't even deal. I keep thinking about her, but Humble said it right. I was talking to Humble, he's like the best way to honor people that are not here anymore is to make the most of the time that you do still have here. So, ah, it was really great to spend time with family. Super awesome. No, she got me this really dope notebook. Common theme out of a lot of the gifts I've gotten for my birthday is, hey, this is not for Superwoman, this is for Lily. And it's when you feel really special, like this notebook's supposed to be like, hey, I know for Superwoman you have to be on all the time. Anytime Lily wants to turn off and write something in it, use this, and it's really sweet. I'm gonna head to bed, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I just woke up just to tell you that yesterday at the party I actually had two glasses of water, so. Thank you. Don't you like how I'm so cocky about two glasses of water? I'm like, thank you. Oh, it's just, it's just two glasses of water. I'll fail. Did you have a good time in Toronto, bums? 
Yes, mommy, are you ready to go on a plane? No, mommy. The whole plane, right? He just like first shaking because I think he's like uncomfortable. That's fine. And then he like falls asleep and it's fine. But he's always so concerned about the beverage cart. You know, the like the drinks cart. That he's always in the aisle like, that drinks cart coming yet? I'm like, it's not for you. He's so concerned about the drinks cart. I'm giving my mom and dad each an Apple Watch right now, and I'm gonna try to teach them how to use it. God be with me. My mom is actually quite technologically savvy, actually. All packed up, ready to go. I feel like it's gonna be a minute before I come back here to Toronto. It might be Christmas is the next time, so it's like a pretty long stretch. I'm kind of feeling a little sentimental about it. Sweet boy, are you ready? You've been sleeping all day. So you're gonna be going so active on the plane, aren't you? Shut up and rub my belly, okay? You ready to go home? You ready to go home? I'm about to get so much work done on this flight. I'm gonna read some scripts. I'm gonna write a script. I'm gonna write some lyrics. I'm gonna do the whole thing. What are you gonna do? Finally home! And my Uber driver literally ate my brain alive. So I don't know how my brain is functioning because he ate it alive. Developments! Guess what's back? The carpet. Now that young boy's potty trained, the carpet is back. There's also a thousand dead flies in my house, so... Things are looking up. Also, 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 I had a bottle of water on the plane, so good boy. Another one. Your girl is tired. It's hot. Carried that suitcase all the way upstairs. My head is hurting. A lot of things are happening. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Let's see how we did. Until tomorrow, or when you're watching this right now, aka today, it is Super Monday, a new video is coming out, and don't forget, if you haven't got yourself a Rafiki already, a million people keep tweeting me being like, there's no international shipping. There is international shipping. You have to change the settings on the website. I wish I could tattoo this on my forehead. You have to go to the website and change the settings to international or Canada or US, and then international shipping gets unlocked. So grab yourself a Girl Love Rafiki or necklace. GirlLove.com is the website. Until October 11th is the campaign. We're trying to reach the goal of 16,000, not 100,000. And we still got a long way to go. So the no.